I thank the gentleman. Thank the speaker. Uh, section 8131 of this bill states, none of the funds made available by this act may be used to fund any work to be performed by EcoHealth Alliance Inc. in China on research supported by the government of China unless the Secretary of Defense determines that a waiver is in the best interest of the country. My amendment simply strikes out in China on research supported by the government of China. EcoHealth Alliance was the, was the agency or the private company that got a grant from the NIH to do research on coronavirus. And they are the ones who gave the money as a subcontractor to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. This was not research being done on behalf of China, it was being done on behalf of us. The problem is EcoHealth Alliance didn't fulfill their contract. They were supposed to get regular reports from Wuhan. They did not follow up on that. As a result, we're missing nearly a year of data prior to the outbreak of COVID-19 that the American taxpayers paid to have. So instead of just saying EcoHealth can't do things in China that's supported by the Chinese government, my amendment makes it clear we're not going to fund EcoHealth Alliance at this point in time. And to make matters worse, you think, how can it be worse? As a part of our oversight, Energy and Commerce Committee in February asked for 40, asked 41 questions get, trying to get information from EcoHealth Alliance. As of this date, we have answers to only seven of those questions, and they're the most general answers like, when did you get your contract with the NIH? It's not the tough information that we need to do proper oversight to make sure that we never have a situation again where a virus occurs where we're doing research and we can't answer the questions of the American taxpayers as to whether or not it came out of a lab that we were funding and that we weren't getting the reports from. That's all it does. It says, nope. EcoHealth for right now, at least during this fiscal year, isn't going to receive money through the DOD. And I reserve. The gentleman reserves. For what purpose does the gentlelady from Minnesota seek recognition? I rise in opposition to the amendment to have a discussion with the gentleman. The gentlelady is recognized um, for five minutes. We've had this provision in the bill for the last few years to prohibit funding for the work performed by EcoHealth uh, Alliance for research within China. As, uh, as the gentleman's very aware of, because he's very knowledgeable in this, it's a global nonprofit organization that works to protect wildlife uh, and public health from the emergence of disease. Um, this is an act in law, and we've worked in a bipartisan manner on the committee on this. Um, the gentleman's amendment, if I understand it correctly, now seeks to establish a full prohibition, a full prohibition on funding the EcoHealth Alliance, Inc. in this bill. While the amendment preserves, and I thank the gentleman for this, the waiver option for the Secretary of Defense to make a determination that working with EcoHealth Alliance remains a national security interest, I, as we move forward, like to better understand any um, ramifications um, as we move to this broader uh, exemption that you want to do as we go to committee to make sure that it lives up to what I heard you say on the floor, to my understanding with the waiver. I work a lot on, um, on, on, on the ICCF, the International Conservation Caucus, so I want to make sure that the wildlife work that we're doing um, is, is, is protected uh, as, as well in that in the research. So I thank think, I think the gentleman for bringing this forward, but I just wanted to know that I have a few more questions and we'll work on it during conference. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd also like to um, um, just reflect on something that Mr. Crane of Arizona said in our last debate where he implied uh, fertilizer and other materials were being supported by the United States government. And, and, and that, that's correct, but that's in the State Department bill. So what I said about what we were supporting and not doing in this bill, I was uh, factual with, and I just wanted the gentleman from uh, Arizona to understand that what he was talking about, I wasn't confused, it's in the State and Foreign Ops bill. With that, I yield back. The gentlelady yields back. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized. I thank, the I thank Mr. Chairman. So here's the bottom line. We have EcoHealth that breaches their contract. 
So while they may be working on some wildlife things and having been a, once a pole holder on a mission uh, with a team of British scientists to study bats in northern Burma, I'm all for studying wildlife. But we have to make sure that those people that get American taxpayer dollars are living up to their contract, living up to their obligations to give us the information so that if something happens, whether you believe it was a lab leak or whether you believe it came out of bats, we needed the information that we paid for to try to make a better decision. They haven't followed through, and as of this date, they haven't given us the information that we need for oversight. Hopefully, it will come forward. But until we establish that EcoHealth Alliance understands that if they're going to use taxpayer dollars to do research, we need to get the information we contracted to get, I think that we should not be granting them awards. I did leave the waiver in. That was very important to me because if it is a national security interest, I wanted to make sure we weren't taking that power away from the secretary. But I don't think at this moment in history, we should be funding EcoHealth Alliance with any taxpayer dollars. And I reserve whatever time I may have left. The gentleman has the only time remaining. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Virginia. All those in favor say aye. aye. All opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to.